Hello, my name is Amanda Tawney, and I am currently the Chief Operations Officer for a broker-dealer. Being employed in the financial services industry provides me with an opportunity to utilize math on a daily basis. Licensed financial advisors, such as myself, are primarily responsible for helping clients reach their financial goals. Calculating the future value of the present-day value of a cash position is the manner in which we forecast future cash balances to ensure that investments clients make today meet their financial goals in the future. For example, if I have $10,000 today and I want to use a hypothetical rate of return, let's say 4.5%, and predict what this money will be worth in 10 years, I can calculate this by using a simple math equation. To calculate future value using compound interest, I take the present value and multiply this by 1 plus the interest rate raised to the exponent t that represents the time factor. Plugging my variables in tells me that in 10 years my client's $10,000 will be worth $15,529.69. Using the future value formula is a daily occurrence for me as I help clients ensure their financial plans meet their financial goals. Another daily task for me is to evaluate if stocks are good investments or not. One way that I evaluate a stock is to look at charts. Moving averages are one of the most popular and easy to use tools that technical analysts have. A simple moving average is formed by computing the average of a security over a specified number of periods. The averages are then connected with a smooth line. Moving averages smooth the day-to-day -day stock prices and make it easier for me to spot trends. My favorite website is BigCharts.com, where I can use the interactive charting page to monitor the movement of 10-month and 20-month moving averages. I closely monitor the 10-month and 20-month moving average for the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average because I believe that the two averages crossing over each other shows indications of overall optimism or pessimism in the market. Known as a bear or bull market indicator. Without math, financial services would be non-existent. These tools help me evaluate investments and determine if a financial plan is sufficient for a client to reach their financial goals.